In the past week, Columbus police have had three shootings involving their officers. Today, police providing an update on the most recent shooting. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Andrew Kinsey. And I'm Yolanda Harris. 21-year-old Raphael Warfield died in the incident, but there are still a lot of questions about how he died. 10TV's Carly Dion is live outside Columbus Police Headquarters with what we learned today. Carly? Yolanda Andrew, during today's press conference, Columbus police showed body worn camera from the incident, but it's still unclear what exactly happened. Columbus Police Chief Elaine Bryant says officers were called to George's Creek Drive at 4 a.m. Thursday morning. A caller reported to dispatch there was a person with a gun. According to the caller, the suspect was reported to have been behaving erratically in the home and threatened to shoot people in the house, including himself. During the press conference, the perspectives of three different body-worn cameras were shown from the incident. This video shows officers arriving at the scene. As they attempt to communicate with the suspect, 21-year-old Raphael Warfield, they were met with gunfire. Hey, Raphael, it's the police, man. We just want to talk to you. Keep your hands up. <laughs> Officers here can then be seen standing by as gunfire continues. Chief Bryant says only one officer fired their gun during the incident. Warfield was pronounced dead at the scene, but it's still unclear how he died. Meanwhile, those in the neighborhood where this took place say the gunshots woke them up early Thursday morning. We heard gunshots and I got down low, you know, and I didn't know what to do. So I heard my girlfriend's them up, so I went. She was like, girl, I hear everything. It was like a whole bunch of commotion in the front. Janitha Mason says she was visiting from out of town this week. They decided to go outside to see what was going on and saw smoke from the gunfire. It was kind of freaky. It was too close. Like, because I heard the buzz was like right there. Columbus police originally reported the suspect had a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Several hours later, they retracted that statement, saying it was made in haste. That was made in error. That statement was given out, and the, the minute that I found out about it, we retracted it because we cannot make that statement. Chief Bryant says officers did call for the right response unit, which includes social workers for mental health situations. But that unit is only available until midnight, per Columbus Police's website. In a situation like this where there is a gun and, and someone actively, um, aggressively, uh, possibly uh, causing harm to themselves or to someone else, officers have to respond accordingly. Now, the Bureau of Criminal Investigation is currently looking into this incident, and the four officers involved are now on administrative leave. Live in downtown Columbus, Carly Dion, 10TV News.